guys welcome back to my channel uh, this video is gonna be my uh, shop my stash everyday makeup drawer so let's go ahead and get into it it looks a little bit different here because I did have to go on travel again for work and um, so what I figured I was gonna do I had packed all of my stuff that I was gonna take with me on travel and then when I came back yesterday I decided I'm not gonna put everything back because I want to show you what I actually take with me when I go you know for a work trip and uh, I'll, I'll show you what I packed and then some stuff I'm gonna put back in here some stuff is just gonna go back into my collection and then we go through whatever's in the drawer and then we go ahead and shop my stash it's probably gonna be a long video like always my shop my stash videos for some reason are always super long um, so I don't know if you would want to grab a snack get a cup of coffee and uh, let's just go ahead and get into it and if you're new here hi I'm Rania and I hope you subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos I know I have been kind of slacking with videos but I have been so busy with work um, so I do apologize for that hopefully now I, I don't foresee traveling that much more well maybe I don't know anyways uh, let's get into what's in here this is uh, like I said I did I packed all of this and I took it with me on travel it does not include my eyeshadow palette this is just like a makeup uh, bag from Tarte a while ago they had this came with like an eyeshadow palette so I, I got rid of everything I kept the bag itself um, let's do the eyeshadow palette that I took with me on travel I did go ahead and uh, traveled with the Pat McGrath uh, this is the four um, mothership four right five <laughs> every time the brunt seduction uh, palette so I didn't fly so I didn't have to check a bag or anything like that I actually drove um, so I wasn't worried about traveling with this I wasn't worried it's gonna break or anything like that so that's why I took it with me if I were to fly and I would have to check a bag or something like that probably wouldn't travel with this because it's really expensive to replace but for driving I was able to take this with me and I got so much use out of it um, it was pretty nice because a lot of the shades in here like you could do a one um, actually not this one I'll have to show you the other eyeshadow I took with me that was just like on my lazy days or I didn't get enough sleep I would just do a one shadow look but with this one I guess uh, I, I really dipped into these two shades in here and um, I do really love this palette it's something that I like I said last time I'm gonna give myself permission to use it whenever I feel like it just because I'd spend so much money on it so I'm not gonna just let it sit in my door until I shop my stash for it if that makes any sense so that's the eyeshadow palette that I went I took with me for my work trip now let's get into what's in this bag um, I would say I use quite a bit of the stuff that's in here but some stuff I actually did not use at all let's start I guess we'll just start with what's on top uh, for mascaras I had these two I have the pretty vulgar for real mascara they're they're both like deluxe sizes I got this from influencer for review I, I really really like it but I the two of these I love together and this is the Pat McGrath fetish eye mascaras and again this is a deluxe size it's not the full size but those were amazing um, I will continue I'll, I'm gonna put them back in my drawer because I do and I use them some more um, they really are amazing okay next for setting sprays or like mist or something like that or you know that kind of category I traveled with the Smashbox uh, photo finish primer water this the small size and the Milani make it last so what I've been doing is I've been after I finish all my makeup I've been using the Smashbox primer water spray it all over the face very heavily um, it kind of takes away all the powderiness and then I would go in with the make it last again very heavily oh my god my makeup lasted I would put my makeup on five in the morning and then I take my makeup off at like eight or nine at night and it just looked amazing with very little touch up so this is something like I right, highly highly would recommend if you are oily if you're looking to make your makeup last all day and very minimal touch-up like occasionally I would use a blotting sheet but not really uh, for foundation I've been loving the mixture of these two the Too Faced Peach Perfect 
um, this is in the shade light beige and then I was mixing it with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear and this is the shade 445 I'm not sure exactly what the shade name is but those two together this is a little bit darker um, than this guy so I would put this on the outside perimeter of my face and this is on the middle blend it all together with a beauty sponge and my goodness a really really great mixture um, again I looked amazingly flawless all day long my makeup barely moved um, I do have my sunscreen in here this is the Murad environmental shield I love this stuff I'm getting close to finishing it and I'm gonna have to buy a new one it's the best sunscreen I've used because it's a little bit it has a little bit of like a tint so if you are you know not like super fair or if you're like light medium see it's like it's not super white I don't want to use too much because I love the stuff and it's not cheap um, it has a little bit of tint so it doesn't leave a white cast I would highly recommend it I really enjoy it um, for primer I did take two primers with me and honestly I only use the Tatcha one the Tatcha silk canvas primer um, I found out that using it like just dipping my finger in it ooh, looks like I have a little bit of lint in there great um, instead of the scooper so much better because I use just the perfect amount it doesn't ball up on me with the scooper I end up using too much and just it doesn't work as well as like just a little amount just a necessary necessary amount and it's great um this guy i didn't use but i do know that i really like this primer this is the smashbox primerizer again this is a small size um i bought this around the holidays it was like a kit it came with that primer water <clears throat> I didn't use it but I did take it with me just in case I thought I might use it uh, I did have my MAC soft ochre prolonged wear paint pots for priming my eyeshadow I did take the Besame brightening violet powder I use this under my eyes to set under my eyes I really really like this um, again for under my eyes very brightening it's beautiful for bronzer so what I did use is I have this cover effects vitalist healthy powder and this is in the shade buff beige it's actually too dark on me to be a like setting powder or you know like a finishing powder or anything like that so what I use it is I would put it as a bronzer kind of like contour bronze because the shade of it is kind of like it just works perfectly for that so I would put this guy on and then I would top it with the butter bronzer and this is in the shade uh, Sunkiss bronzer like oh my god I'm like addicted to this combo looks so beautiful not overly bronzy not like fake bronzy it looks amazing together um, I might keep those in <laughs> for the next go round uh, I did take with me my hourglass translucent the veil translucent setting powder this guy is amazing I use it to set over like my whole face not my under eye because I find I need a little bit more for under my eye but for all over the face this guy is amazing so what I would do I would put my makeup like my foundation on my concealer and for concealer I had the Tarte Shape Tape I would set my concealer and then I would set my face all over the face with this guy and then I would go in with the Laura Mercier this is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder and then I would use this all over the face again very very lightly has a really nice kind of like sheen to it kind of like the hourglass like dim light or you know like the ambient lighting powder but not as glowy see what I mean like they're very similar but the one from this is the one from Laura Mercier and this is the hourglass one um, so I would set my face with the loose powder, I would go in with this guy, I would do my uh, bronzer, my blush, my highlight, and then for a finishing step, I would use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Luminous Light to buff everything together. Just give it a little bit of a blended look so it doesn't look, I don't have harsh lines or anything like that. Oh my god, I'm addicted. I know it's a little excessive, but looked stunning like my face looked so natural so well blended it looked amazing uh, for blush I took with me the Milani this is petal primavera whoa this guy is gorgeous I taken like other options for blush but I actually only use this guy it is absolutely stunning this is a beautiful color um, it looks so natural 
for a subtle eye look or one shadow look oh my god amazing i am gonna take it put it back in my collection and i did take with me my charlotte tilbury chic to chic um swish and glow blusher and this is the shade pillow talk really didn't reach for it because this guy was just that good so but I had it with me. I am going to put it back into my collection. Uh, for highlight, I took the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. This guy's really beautiful. It is a little bit too much for work, but if you do like the technique that I told you, put this, like put bronzer, blush, highlight, and then buff everything together. With this guy, really like flawless, like glowing skin, amazing. Um, oh yeah, I did have another primer with me, but I didn't use it at all. This is the Professional Pearl Primer. Um, it's in my uh, 19 and 2019, so I took it with me just to use it, but I did not, I actually didn't reach for it at all. Um, I stuck to the Tatcha one. I took um, Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This guy, so, <laughs> I told you my technique uh, with the Smashbox Primer Water, Milani Make It Last, and then just like on my chin and then like around my nose, I would use very, very little amount of this Rimmel Stay Matte and then I would go in with the Make It Last. Again, a, just a little bit more. Yeah, my face was on all day long, no problems. I did take with me the Smashbox a Blaze Face Palette, but honestly, I didn't use it at all. I thought just in case I need highlight options or anything like that. So I didn't take it, I didn't use it at all. Um, I'm gonna put it back in my collection. Uh, so the days that I was really lazy and wanted to do one one shadow look, I, use, I reach for this a lot. This is the Marc Jacobs Eye Sequence and this is the shade um, Topaz Flash. Uh, maybe my favorite eyeshadow in my whole collection. Beautiful. For liner, I did take the Pat McGrath Labs, uh, what is this, Perma Gel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Blitz Brown. Love this thing. For brow pencil, I took the NYX uh, Professional Brow Pencil, um, Micro Brow Pencil, and this is the shade Brunette. Honestly, I didn't use it at all. I only used the spoolie. I'm trying to not use too many brow products, especially on days when I don't want to look super made up. Uh, so I would just use the brow mascara and this is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. It fills in a little bit, gives a little bit of tint and holds my brows in place. I do have my sharpener and I did take with me the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold. I thought if I wanted a liquid highlight or a primer I would use this but honestly I didn't reach for it at all. So that's all the stuff that I had with me on travel. Um, oh, for lip products, I took most of them out, but I just took lip glosses with me. I took the number seven high shine lip gloss, and this is the shade. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the shade is, but this is the one I took with me, and I took with me the Pat McGrath lip gloss, the one that I've used more than half of it. Um, it's not in here, it's in my work bag, so that's what was in here. Um, most most likely, I will only be keeping a couple things. Oh, like this is going to stay in here. Um, I'm, let's just go through what's in the drawer and then we'll just shop my stash and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I, what's staying and what's not. Uh, Physician's Formula, this is the translucent airbrush. Oh, air brushing press powder. This guy was really nice. Um, I don't know if it's like my absolute favorite, but it was really nice. I did use it as a setting powder all over the face. I am gonna go ahead and take it out. Um, I do have some other powders that I really wanna try. Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. This guy is pretty amazing, but I do wanna take it out. Um, this container looks really big. I think I touched on that last time. The containers look really big, but there's only 10 grams in here, so. I hate that it's so bulky. Uh, Besame mm, Brightening Vanilla Powder, translucent. Uh, I really, really like this guy as well. It has a little bit of a, like a yellow tint, where the violet one is obviously like violet. Uh, I am gonna take it out. I think I'm gonna put the violet back in here. So I am gonna take this guy out. And the Too Faced uh, Amazing Face Skin Balancing Flexible Coverage Foundation. Oh, really? Look, my sponge. <laughs> um, 
honestly I didn't use this guy at all so I do want to keep it in here I do want to give it like a fair shot for bronzers I had the Maybelline City bronzer and this is the shade 200 um, this guy is stunning it's a contour bronzer combo it's really beautiful but I really really love the cover girl powder topped with the butter bronzer that was amazing so I'm gonna put those back let's just put them back right now so I don't forget I have Becca Capri Coast. Uh, I really like this bronzer. It is on a project, trying to use some of it up. Um, so I kind of want to take it out. Mm, I did pick up some new bronzers. Shoot. On that note, maybe I should take these out too. Switch, switch all my bronzers out. But that combo was stunning. No, I'm going to take the Capri Coast out. And then I have the Balm Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer. And this is Tony. This is so dark on me now. Like, I don't know. I'm going to have to pull it back in. I only used it one time and I was like, whoa, this is dark. Um, so I'm going to have to pull it back in towards the summertime when I have a little bit of tint. So for now, it's going to come out. Okay, I wanted to use this guy and I put it in here, but I actually didn't use it at all. This is the e.l.f. Cream Contour. I don't know that they still sell this, uh, the St. Lucia. And I really, really wanted to get back or dip my toes again into cream products because I've been eyeing that milk um, bronzer that's like a stick, the cream stick. So I'm like, ah, oh, do I really like it? So I wanted to use this. I didn't use it. So I'm going to keep it in here as well. Um, all of these can come out. I did really enjoy all of them. MAC Petal Power, the Mineralized Blush and Petal Power. Really beautiful color. One of my favorites. I'm going to take it out though. Um, the Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. Really beautiful. It's going to come out as well. MAC um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Shogold. Ugh, stunning color. Stunning shade. Um, I am going to take it out. And the same with the Fenty Beauty. A kilowatt highlighter and this is girl next door and chic freak i really got some use out of the side so i'm gonna pull this guy out as well or pull both of those out for let's see what do i have in here this i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this guy this is the tarte skinny smolder eyes and the shade is azurite green i pulled this in because i thought this would look really beautiful i mean Maybe I should, don't want to declutter it. But this does not look good at all in my waterline. Like if I put it in my waterline, it just fades. It gets on my contacts. I really don't like it for that. But like on my um, upper lash line, like the lash line or on my lid, looks really beautiful. Again, I pulled it in because I thought it would look really, gold with, really good with the Natasha Gold Palette. So maybe I'll pull it out. A um, couple products in here that I am also going to pull out. I'm going to take out this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. Uh, this is the shade Light Sand. So this goes with their Flawless Foundation line. I really, really liked it. It's very lightweight. It's not super full coverage. So it's nice for natural looks. I am going to take it out though. This stays in here. I am going to take this guy out as well. The Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, soft matte concealer is supposed to be full coverage it really is not full coverage at all I use this on days of like no makeup makeup days and I'm just gonna take it out I'm gonna take out this beauty for real eyeliner this is in the shade 24 karat this guy is stunning but oh it's so creamy too um, yeah I'm gonna take it out uh, the color pop uh, no filter concealer this is in the shade fair 08 I use it to lighten foundation sometimes so I'm gonna keep it in here uh, for this side I don't have a whole lot like this isn't a project this isn't a project so I do want to keep them in here I'm gonna go ahead and put my MAC paint pot in here and I'm gonna keep my Marc Jacobs IC plus because oh I I like this one of my favorite products seriously in my entire collection it is beautiful I think that shade too specifically I really like um this lip liner I couldn't think of the word in hush hush this is the buxom really nice I do want to take it out I don't know if I shopped my stash for this last time but I actually pulled it in at some point this is the L'Oreal infallible paints this is the shade nude stars so beautiful and so comfortable like 
it is such a comfortable formula and it's really really beautiful so I put this guy in here uh, I'm gonna take all of these out uh, and this guy I'm just gonna <sighs> I wanted to keep this in here so I can use it up I don't have a whole lot left but I really didn't reach for it so I don't know I'm gonna need to put it back in my collection julep uh, matte lip mousse and say hello really beautiful um, the julep products have been I think half off on Ulta I, I think I heard somewhere that they're being like completely the line is getting you know it's not gonna exist anymore I think so if there's anything from julep that you really want go ahead and snag it now because they're half off on Ulta and all of the Pat McGrath lipsticks this was like the warm set a really beautiful I am gonna take all of them out this one is my favorite where is it this is it the Omi yeah this is so beautiful oh beautiful color and the formula is really great and this one I didn't I only use this guy one time because it's a little bit on the darker side um what shade is this this is 19 no flush three I am gonna take all of these out I do want to shop my stash for something new okay the wet and wild photo focus the matte finish setting spray the spritzer on this I had to replace it with a different one because it would get stuck every time I spray it not really I don't know I think I like their natural one the white packaging one a lot better I'm gonna take it out um, I'm gonna keep these in here I did put this guy in last time the Tarte Man Eater this was really really nice it stayed a lot better in the waterline than this one um, I don't think they still make these anymore I bought them around like the holiday it was a set so I am gonna take this out as well uh for primers i had put in those two the touch and soul no pore no pore blum priming water this is really nice so it kind of feels like a water you gotta shake it um and then you put it on the face F at first it feels like water kind of oily slippery but it gets tacky it was so interesting i actually really enjoyed it the becca ever matte poreless priming perfector i really didn't use this guy at all so I think I'm going to take it out though. I don't want to keep it in here. Move these out of the way too. Starting to look like a mess up here. Uh, Revolution. This is the Fast Base Stick Foundation. And I have the shade F7. I did use this guy quite a bit. You can see like I'm down in the tube. So this guy looks stunning when you first put it on for up to like four hours. After that... It breaks down on me so badly. It gets super oily. So this is a product like if you're going to go to work and put this on, expect this to last. Definitely not. But if you're going somewhere for like a couple hours, this is beautiful. I'm not going to declutter. I'm going to keep it just because it looks so beautiful when you first apply it. I know. Weird. And then the other two foundations I had in here are both CoverGirl, the Vitalist Healthy Elixir, had the shade 710 and 745. Um, I found that the best shade match for me is if I use three pumps of 710, one pump of 745. So I have to mix them in like a little kind of like an empty container like this. And then I, that's enough for two days. That's the best shade match for me right now really nice but i am going to take it out i'm going to put some other foundations in okay now let's talk about all the other stuff that's in here quite a bit i don't know what i was thinking last time i shot my stash it was a lot of products okay natasha denona gold palette i love this thing um i'm gonna pull it out but again i'm gonna give myself the permission to use it when i want to so it's gonna stay on my vanity uh two face sugar peach face and eye palette really really beautiful very very pigmented and so soft um i am gonna put it back in my collection Clinique Get Cheeky, um, this like the blush trio, those are actually blushes on me and this is a highlight, again very very beautiful, the formula is amazing but I am going to take it out, Anastasia Prism Palette, oh my god I love this thing, I have such a big dip in this shade um, Throne, 
it's a beautiful palette I really really like it and I was very happy to have it in here for a little while but I am gonna take it out <sighs> Too Faced the Smurfette collection so smurfy um looks absolutely beautiful like this but those two shades are have like that suspended glitter that gets absolutely everywhere no matter what kind of glitter glue you use as soon as you put it on your brush you spritz your brush or whatever you do you're gonna get glitter fallout all over the face those two shades are they look so beautiful in the pan and i think this palette looks absolutely stunning in the pan but do i really want to keep a palette like that just because it looks so beautiful and like i don't know so this was one of the things that I'm like, uh, I reached for it one time and then I regretted it because I had glitter on my face for like three days. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in my collection just because it's so cute. And like, okay, if I need a color like this, I can reach for it or if I'm just going to declutter it. So for now, it's going to come out. Uh, the NYX Happy Birthday palette. This guy is really, really good. Like, I really enjoyed it. I reached for it a couple times. And I liked every look I did with it. But it's all shades that I really have from in other palettes. It's like, there isn't a very unique shade in here that I'm like, okay, like, this is worth keeping just for that shade. So I think I am going to declutter it. I'm going to pass it on to somebody because it's really great quality. It's beautiful palette. It's easy to use, but I don't need these shades. Um, I'm really trying to narrow down my eyeshadow palettes to the ones that I absolutely love. So I think this one I am going to go ahead and pass on to somebody else. Maybe my sister-in-law or my sister, or maybe just donate it, sanitize and donate. And then I have the Naked Cosmetics, the highlighter palette. This guy's beautiful. I do want to keep it. It's not shades that I would reach for on a daily basis, but they are beautiful shades. So it's getting moved on. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess over here, and then we'll let's go ahead and chop my stash. Okay, so we are at the first, like in the first drawer of my new makeup. A little excessive, but uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I recently found this guy, and I don't remember who I watched who really, really loved this thing. This is the Profusion Lips to Go. I think I'm going to pull this in, and then we're going to do swatches like always um, when we put everything back together in the drawer. I picked up, so I went ahead and I returned that Morphe foundation. I watched a lot of reviews, and I didn't want to use it and it go into waste. And I just decided maybe it's not going to work for me. So I went ahead and I returned it. But I picked up the Morphe Glamour Bronze. Uh, this guy is massive. And I got the shade Icon, which is the lightest shade. So we're going to pull that in. Um, I think I'm going to pull in both of these two. These are Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadows. One is in the shade Zinc About You. And the other one is Platinum Nights. Uh, when I swatch these, you guys are going to go crazy. Beautiful. So I'm going to pull those in. Um, let's see. What else do I want to pull in? Hmm, maybe we do this guy. I used it once already and oh, it was beautiful. Um, if you don't, I don't know if you watched my Sephora plate unboxing, but that's the palette I'd used. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in. Um, more, uh, Colourpop did actually send me a replacement because those two shades were shattered, but, um, I use it like, I mean, I repressed it. I don't know. I might put yeah so anyways i'm gonna pull this in what else do i want to pull in um ooh, i got some milani products in here uh ooh, um i think okay let's do well should I do one of these? Okay, I do want to pull... Maybe I want to pull this guy in. Oh, let's do the Milani stuff. Let's pull in the Milani. I'm going to pull all three of these like Milani products. So this is their Conceal and Define Concealer. And I got the shade Light Natural. I'm going to pull in the Milani Prep Set and Glow Setting Powder. It's Illuminating Translucent Powder. And I'm going to pull in the Milani Bronzer. And this is the shade 1 Sunlight. The silky matte bronzing powder keep hearing everybody love it so i do want to give it a shot i want to try it so let's pull that guy in um for foundation 
I think I do want to pull in the Revolution foundation. I have so many mascaras in here and kind of like I haven't even gotten a chance to try the ColourPop ones because I have so many mascaras open. I need to just stop it with the mascaras. I, I got a lot of them in subscription boxes. But I picked up this Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder and this is the shade Banana. Maybe I pull this in instead of, and I'll take out that Besame uh, Violet Powder. Let's do that, let's pull this in. I need to try it, I need to give it a shot. I, I, I need to really make a dent into my new makeup drawer. Maybe we'll pull in, let's see what's in the next one. And I think from here, oh yeah, I did pick up the new Pat McGrath. <sighs> The IX this you get. Uh, I have a problem, you guys. I don't want to pull it in though now because I, I need to get through some of the older ones. And this is the other lip gloss set. I don't want to. Oh, I'm going to pull in this foundation. I bought two shades one to use as like in my everyday foundation and one for cream contouring. Um, I'm going to pull in this this one which should be my shade it's the f7 because if i don't like the formula i don't want to open this i want to be able to maybe exchange it if i if i really don't like the formula um i let's pull this eyeliner into this is the sephora waterproof eyeliner and this is the shade mm, avenue dish mm, what's the shade in here oh diving in malaysia two two okay let's get that in how about this guy too? Or, no, I wanna pull this in. God, I've been dying to use this guy. The Jouer Bouquet de Amour Six Shade Blush Palette. I'm, I'm gonna bring this in. Cause other than doing my haul, I didn't reach for that at all. Look at this little tiny ass sample from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This was um, a deluxe reward thing from Sephora you know you just buy $25 and then you put in a code and you get this look how tiny this is this is a one-time use and this is the shade 2 medium I wonder if I should pull it in uh no I'm gonna hold off <laughs> ah silly um which eyeshadow palette do we want Ooh, I picked up this guy let's pull this in for lip product this is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck liquid lip cream and this is the shade slow burn um they had them half off at some point so get that for eyeshadow palette i don't know if i want to pull in let's see i have eyeshadow palettes in here no but i have that cheekathon that little cheeky palette this guy Thinking about pulling this in. Uh, it's got, okay. So from the drawer above, I went back in there and I'm gonna pick this guy or I'm gonna pull this. Do I want to? Or do I wanna, for now, I'm gonna say I'm gonna pull this in. This is the Benefit Cheek Leaders uh, Mini Bronze Squad. So there's like a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush in here um this is so pretty you guys i've been really wanting to try gold rush and i've never tried hula so i'm like okay this is perfect and then cookie's supposed to be amazing i watched one of jacqueline hill's videos and she was raving about it about that shade i'm gonna pull this in i think i'm gonna pull this in um because i might shop my stash for a different one so let's put it to the side for now and for eyeshadow palette, I think maybe one of the new ones. Um, I have the BH Cosmetics one, which I had wanted for so long. And this got some highlighters in it. Um, then I wouldn't have to like really shop for too many highlighters. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning and I think I swatched like one of the shades. I think. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I swatched it at Ulta in store and I was just blown away. Um, it's either this or the Pat McGrath Bronze Ambition which I've had in here for so long that I really need to just try it. 
Um, I have a thing for warm tones, obviously, so I think I'm gonna pull this in. I haven't used it yet. So let's pull this guy in. This looks so beautiful. And then, yeah, I'm gonna pull this in. Hey, the next drawer down is like primer mist and setting sprays and whatnot. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, um, I kinda miss this guy. I'm gonna pull this in. This is the Elf Hydrating Coconut Mist. I think I'm gonna use it um, kinda like a first step setting. Kind of like how I use the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to try it that way and then I'm going to top it with a setting spray. And maybe for a setting spray, what I will use is... Let's do the CoverGirl Look Lock Up. Because I remember I really liked this guy actually um, when I did my CoverGirl review. So I'm going to pull this in. Next drawer down is primers and for primers I'm going to pull in uh mm, let's do let's do two primers. Let's let, let's try this guy. I've never tried it. And this is the Bare Minerals Combo Control Milky Face Primer it says balance. We'll pull this in. And then let's pull in, let's try this. The e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I've had it for a long time and I don't remember what I think about it. So I'm gonna do this guy. So two primers. Hopefully it's not silicone because I really don't like silicone primers. Next drawer down is eyeshadow, not sorry, not eyeshadow, face palettes. Um, I pulled in that one by Benefit. I think I'm gonna keep the one by Benefit and I think I might skip this drawer completely. Um, unless I want to do some contouring. No, I think I'm going to skip this drawer completely because I did pull in uh, quite a few bronzers and um, I did pick out a face palette. So I'm going to skip this one. Okay, now uh, moving on to my not new makeup. Uh, the first drawer down here is my foundations and my concealers. Uh, so far for concealers, I only brought in the Milani one. I think I want to pull in another concealer. I think I really, I really, it's time that I try this guy by uh, Ulta Beauty. I'm going to pull this guy in. This is the full coverage liquid concealer waterproof and I have the shade light warm. I'm going to pull this in. This is brand new as well. So two new, two new concealers. For foundation, I pulled in the Revolution F, uh, Revolution like full coverage concealer. What is it called? Whatever. Something foundations so I want to pull in another one um I guess I do have some new foundations in here that I guess I never mentioned all right they didn't go into my new makeup drawers because well I tested them um I have the LA colors truly matte long wearing high pigment foundation I it's either I pull this in or I pull in the CYO Life Proof Foundations, which I finally was able to get my hands on. Uh, fall Greens, I picked up two shades. I picked up shade four, 104 and 105. 104 is a little bit on the pink side and 105 is kind of like yellowish. Um, this matches me a lot more than this does, but together they look really, really nice on me because I'm kind of neutral. I'm not uh, warm tone. Sometimes I am more warm. Anyways. I think I'm gonna pull both of these in. Okay, for blushes, I pulled in the blush palette by Jouer and I also have a blush in that Benefit palette. So I think from here, I just wanna pull in one other one. Do I, I don't, maybe I don't need another blush. Um, unless there's something I kinda haven't used in a long time. And I guess that would be, that could be this one. I, the Tarte, this was a, Sephora play like birthday gift thing and this is the shade party. I think I'm gonna pull this in and that's it. Okay, the next one down is higher end eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I do want to bring in something from here. Uh, just FYI, if you guys are curious, the Lime Crime is gonna be on sale during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I have the Venus 3. I love this thing. So I would recommend it if you've been considering it. This guy is stunning. Oh, let's do the Naked Heat because I was considering picking up the Tarte Toasted during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, but I have the Naked Heat. I'm going to bring Naked Heat in. For powders, um, I do have two that I pulled in. I pulled in a Press Powder by Milani and I pulled in that Loose Powder by Joa, the Banana Shade. So, it, it, powders is kind of a tough thing. 
Um, I really have been liking the combo that I've been using. Maybe I'm going to stick to that. I think I'm going to keep my, um, my Hourglass, The Veil, and uh, Candle Glow by Laura Mercier. I think I'm going to keep those in. I think. Because look at that combo. It just looked absolutely stunning. And why change it if it's not broken? Um, but let's pull in one more other loose powder because what if I don't like the Joa Banana shade for under my eye? Maybe it's too dark or something like that. So I think I will pull in, let's do this guy, the It Cosmetics, the Translucent, Bye Bye Pores Translucent. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull this in. I, I don't remember what I thought of it, honestly. So, ooh, have I opened? Yeah, I've opened it. Oh, I kept this thing in. Okay. Let's pull this in too, just in case. I don't remember what I thought of that, honestly. For bronzers, you guys see my new organization? It's so beautiful and clean. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of want to pull this guy in, the Dallas by Benefit. But I pulled in oh, the Hula in that palette. Um, let's do this. Let's bring in... I might do it, you guys. I remember that I really liked this one when I tried it, the NARS Laguna, and I just got like a deluxe, a very small one of these in my Sephora play. So maybe we get this in. No, I don't want to. I want to bring in this guy because I don't think I've used it. The Ulta Matte Bronzer. Have I used it? I don't know. Can't remember. Actually, let's pull in one of these because I don't know if I still like them or if I did like them or anything like that. One, they're both by Wet n Wild. One is Qu Queensland and one is your drag on me down. Queensland look more like warm tone and this is cool tone. Let's bring in the cooler tone one. We'll see how that works and see if I, yeah, see if I like it or not. I only did like first impressions on these. So I'm going to bring this in. Okay, I think I only pulled in like one highlighter. So let's do this. Let's try this guy. I've had it for a long time. No, honestly, I haven't tried it. This is the Revolution Self X highlighting, highlighting palette. I'm gonna pull this in. And then the last thing in here, the last drawer is uh, like single highlighters. I also reorganized this. I don't know if you can tell. So I think I have quite a few shades of highlighters now. Maybe we'll just pull in one like single highlighter and uh, let's do, what have I not played with in a long time? I think I have barely used these guys. Let's do one of these. Um, one of the Milani ones, I have two of them. Uh, this is kind of like more golden. Let's do this guy, which is the Daylight strobe number zero two. I'm gonna pull this in. Um, let me put everything back and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash for lipsticks and then we'll do swatches. Alrighty, you guys, I went ahead and put everything back in the drawer. Um, I was gonna do a shop my stash for the lips, but my camera was just acting kind of weird, so I just brought in a couple lipsticks that I think I want to use for the next, uh, I don't know, two weeks or so. So let's go ahead and uh, talk and do some swatches. Let's talk about what's in here for now. Um, the first thing, is for some reason, there's quite a bit of powders. My goodness, I thought this cracked, but no, it's not. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow, the Illuminating Transparent Powder. I'm really excited to try this guy. I do have the Too Faced, like the foundation powder foundation in here. I really need to give it a shot and see if I still like it or not. I did put in the Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana. I didn't open it yet. And the other setting powder is the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Um, I do have the Rimmel Stay Matte. This kind of like... <laughs> One of those things that need to stay here all the time. Um, I, I do reach for it for blotting and I do like that thing. On this side is my kind of my excessive powders. You don't really need all of these, but I do love the way my makeup look when I use them. So I put in the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder in here. 
I put in the Laura Mercier Candle Glow um, Sheer Perfecting Powder, and I do have this shade too. Honestly, I could go with shade one, but this is good. I mean, it's not like too dark or anything like that. It is kind of sheer, so I can make it work. I did put in, or I kept in here, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. Um, I uh, kept the e.l.f. Uh, contour palette in here, the contour duo, I guess, the the cream uh, bronzer and cream blush. Goodness, I couldn't think of the word. I do have a couple samples in here that I just need to use up and be done with. By the way, this guy sucks. Bosha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. It's, it, yeah, it sucks. I wouldn't recommend this, but this guy's pretty nice. This is the Butter London, the Glaze and Face Glow. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, it looks a little excessive. Like that is a lot of powders, but these are kind of my reliable ones now. And then these are stuff I'm testing or trying to get more use out of. For bronzers, um, like I said, I really have been enjoying this duo, the CoverGold Vitalist Healthy Powder. Topping it with the Butter Bronzer, absolutely stunning. Um, I did put in the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Bronzer in Your Dragon Me Down. Let's do a swatch. This guy is so like soft. That's what I remember. Um, it looks pretty nice. I think that will be a good match for me. And then here's the Milani uh, Sunlight Silky Matte Bronzing Powder, the shade 01. Let's open it so we can do a swatch. I can't remember who I heard rave about this, but it looks so like, it looks very high-end. I think, was it the Taylor? Ooh, it's uh, maybe a little too light. <laughs> I guess this would have to work more as a contour powder. Maybe I'll have to do what I did with these two, like use this guy and then put this on top. Anyway, we'll see how that's gonna work. Let me go ahead and swatch the other bronzer before we move on to like blushes and all that. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze. It's face and body bronzer. And this is the shade Icon. Um, this I, I picked this guy up from Ulta. We'll see, see how this guy is. Ooh, okay, I do remember when I swatched it in the store, I swatched this shade and I swatched the shade up and then it darkened a little bit. I don't know like how that is, but it did darken a little bit. So, I mean, we'll see. My hand is always thinner than my body, obviously. So, there's that for bronzer. For highlighter, I put in the Milani uh, Day Glow Strobe Light and this is shade 02. I remember those were freaking amazing when I first picked them up like a while ago okay that looks pretty nice doesn't it and then for blush I put in the Tarte Party plush um I don't remember being extremely like blown away by this blush but we'll see that's what that looks like okay let's go ahead and do the swatches for the benefit palette and then we do the highlighters and then the blushes. It's all like all deep in there. <laughs> uh, let me pull it out. Okay, for blushes, like I said, I'm gonna use the Jouer Bouquet the Amour palette. Um, I remember when I first received this, it looked a lot darker in person than what I thought it was gonna look like online. Like, look at this orange, that is pretty dark. Let's do a couple swatches. Let's watch this orangey shade. We'll do Marigold, this is called Treasure Me. This is Marigold, this is Know Me, and Adore Me. Let's see, Adore Me, Treasure Me, Marigold. Ooh, my finger, my hand is a little wet from the hand wipes. And then know me. These look so beautiful. Like it really looks so beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the other two, which is kiss me and seduce me. Let me make sure my hand is completely dry, and of course, dry it on my shirt. <laughs> so that's kiss me and seduce me. This one is kiss me, and this one is seduce me. They are so soft. Um 
might have to go light-handed with these shades in this one and the other ones I think I'll be good with but it's so beautiful I really cannot wait to play with it um, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun this palette is gonna be a lot of fun now that uh, Jouer Cosmetics or Jouer is it Jouer Cosmetics just Jouer they're coming out with um, powders like setting powders uh, press powders oh, I cannot wait to get my hands on those um, so there's that uh, here's the highlighter palette, the Sofax highlighter palette by Revolution. Um, I kept hearing people rave about it and I was going between this one and the Flower Beauty, like the illuminating palettes, which I really think I'm going to pick up still anyways. So here's the first row. Let's, ooh, wow. Bam in your face highlighters for sure. Okay. Um, kind of like a little bit more on the golden side and those are like icy whites. A little bit um wow okay <laughs> and then the second row you have like a pink color kind of like a lilac more of a bronzy shade and another kind of like rose gold so here's the second row oh man uh okay i can see what i why everybody raves about this palette it is really beautiful like those swatch really nicely maybe the only one that didn't swatch so nicely is this last shade in here see if i can build it up he looks kind of more like more natural than the other ones but this looks really beautiful really excited for this i think i have plenty of highlighter options for this week now it's like eight shades and that nine ten basically ten highlighters because I have the single one and then there's the highlighter that is in the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad. I don't know why it's called the Bronze Squad because there's only one bronzer in here. But this is the shade Gold Rush, Cookie and Hula. Make sure my hand is completely dry. Let's go with the Gold Rush. Uh, I know it's an overspray but I still like... Ooh, look at that. And then Hula. I can't believe I've never tried Hula. It's like, what? So here's Hula. There's Cookie. And then there's Gold Rush. I think they look really beautiful. Um, yeah, they look really, really nice. I'm really excited for this palette. Uh, I think this, well, I've been eyeing the, like, what are they called like their cheekathon is it the cheekathon the five pan ones but i haven't pulled the trigger so i saw this one and i was like you know I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up now for concealers i do have the ulta concealer the full coverage liquid concealer this is the shade light warm is it light warm yeah um i know ulta just had their concealers i think for four dollars or maybe was it five dollars so but I've never tried it, so I didn't want to pick up another one. Okay, wow, that is full coverage. <laughs> um, there, there you have it. I do have my uh, two mini mascaras in here. I do have two other mascaras in here, but I didn't really add much. Well, I have three mini mascaras, I guess, in here. And here's the uh, Milani Conceal and Define. Is it Conceal? Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And this is also in the shade, well, this is Light Neutral. No, they had like a ton of shades to choose from for the Milani. And I did buy it on their website. I didn't buy it from Walmart or anything like that. I had ordered it from their website. Okay, that's a um, little bit more on the pink side. Not as full coverage as the Ulta one, but the Ulta one looks like it's very dry already. So there's that. And like I said, I do have two other mascaras. I do have the Essence I Heart Extreme, which is almost out. And then the Wet n Wild Max. Fanatic, which I think is almost out too. Uh, for eyeliner, I did add this guy, which is the Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in Diving in Malaysia. It's um, like a antique olive gold, olive green, with very, very fine. I want to say shimmer. They're not glitter, gold, gold shimmer in there. So that is that. Um, on the next side, I did put in two new eyeshadows, single shadows from Essence. This is the Melted Chrome in the shade 03 Platinum Nights. Wait till you see these. They have like very similar texture to um, ColourPop like Super Shock shadows. But look at this. Ah, 
That is stunning. I think those were $4.99, but they were buy one, get one half off. And here's the other one. This is the shade 01, Zinc About You. So it's more on like, oh goodness. Look at that. Look how beautiful those two are. I cannot wait to play with these. So that's what's new in here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do some lip swatches or let's talk about what, what else is in here. I do have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I remember that. I think I liked it because I remember I liked it. I don't know. And then there's the Bare Minerals Combo Control Milky Face Primer. Um, smooth onto skin after skincare before makeup application. I don't know. Okay. It does look milky. <laughs> Hmm. Kind of feels nice. We'll see how it is. Feels pretty soft. Yeah, it feels very soft. Um, for foundation, I did put in the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. The shade is F7. I'm really curious to see like if this shade would match me. The the stick foundation from from them that I have, like the one that I had in. Uh, in the last shop my stash was also an F7. Let's give this guy a shake. So, we'll see. Ooh, okay. Hmm, I think it'll be a good match. Like I said, my hand is definitely darker than my face and my neck, so. Okay, looks a little bit on the ashy side. Hmm, kind of kind of worried <laughs> and then the other two foundations in here um they are new but i've played with them a little bit like i've swatched them and all that they're the C cyo long lasting foundation life proof i ordered them from uh, walgreens online i have the shade 104 and 105 like i said earlier 104 is a little bit pink 105 is a little bit olive but them together they really they really look really good on my face um on my skin tone uh for eyeshadow palettes i have the naked heat um, by Urban Decay. I do have the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime. This is the Bronze Ambition, Ambition Palette. This is one of the six pan palettes. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. I, ooh, really pretty. Okay, and so uh, this matte one. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, never disappointed by her eyeshadows they are absolutely stunning i really am looking forward to this i mean it kind of looks a little bit boring but i love warm tones and they're so easy to use in the morning like before you know when i'm getting ready to go to work just so easy you know like for me they're easy to use i don't have to worry about it or think about it too much so looking forward to that and then the last thing in here before we do lipsticks is um this guy the color pop it's my pleasure eyeshadow palette um again i did do a look with this palette and i was just blown away yes there's some fallout but oh well these two i mean for me they're mixed together because they were shattered when i received them look at this i mean look at this oh this is absolutely stunning Oh my gosh, so beautiful, like really beautiful. I don't know, I have not been tempted to pick up the green one or the blue one. Um, was there, did they come out with a blue one or am I just imagining it? Kind of sounds like it should be up next, right? They did the pink, they did the purple, they did the green. Maybe they'll come out with the blue? Hmm. Did they have a blue one? I have a feeling I'm just imagining it. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the lip products that are in here. Um, it's just like I do have a lot of warm tone palettes and that purple. I want it to be kind of like on the nude side, but I also did pick out a, uh, well, a hot pink or a red. Uh, the first one is the Revolution Soap X uh, lipstick and this is in the shade Syrup. Oh yeah, I remember. I swatched this guy, but I've never like used it. Ooh, gosh. I just feel like I just broke it. It looks so beautiful. Very warm, nude color. Um, so there's that. I brought this guy back in because I really enjoyed this set. The Hot Butter Drum, the Too Faced Like the Holiday. 
liquid lipsticks I really enjoyed them so I wanted to get some more use out of them before they go bad so this is the hot butter drum it smells so good it just makes you want to eat some cookies there's that let's do the other nude and this is those of colors um and the shade is mocha I can't see I can't remember exactly what the line is but it's just what it sucks when you open it it's just like this um I think this was more on the mauve yep like mauve nude so there's that a little bit more on cooler tone uh let's do the mark jacobs lamarck liquid lipsticks or yeah liquid lip and this is in slow burn there's that looks so pretty yeah i tried to stick to like you know those kind of neutral colors and then the Profusion lip set had a lip liner in it. Uh, yeah, this is the matte lip liner. The shade, I guess, is called Secret Nude. Let's swatch this guy. We'll do them all over here. Okay, looks more on um, like a rosy nude. It looks really pretty. Really excited to use this set. And then the liquid lipstick is a matte lip cream and the shade is Matte Secret. A little bit on the lighter side compared to the other ones and then the lip topper which I really wanted this guy so bad this sparkling lip topper and it's called secret topper it's kind of has like okay a little bit of a oh it's a brush I guess it's just a little stiff now hmm okay that doesn't apply very easily let's go again but look at that sparkle. I might have to use a different like um, lip brush for applying it. But it looks so pretty. I guess you would use this more like on the center of your lip, not all over. But I don't like the applicator. Maybe I'll have to play a little bit with that brush. See if I can get it to be a little bit more flexible and not so stiff. So that's that. And then the last color that's just like bam in your face is by Bite. Uh, and this is the high pigment lip pencil. The shade is palm granite. Oh, ooh, can't open it. Oh, I don't like that the dirty lid. But there you have it. There's that one. It's a blue tone, like a cool tone red like a blue undertone. I almost forgot, I do have my e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist and my CoverGirl Look Lock Up to use for the next two weeks as well. This is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, leave me any comments down below about anything that you're curious about or if you saw anything in my collection that you really want me to use or try out or talk about. Please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.